Prince Merit Officer or Noble Merit Officer. Um, you are at Gola uh, Gallery. Uh, we're doing um, uh, my 50th anniversary birthday and 25th year anniversary from uh, graduating from art school. Um, so this uh, exhibition contains almost the last, even beyond that, in my first works from my mother, uh, drawing what I copied from my mother drawing when I was four year old, and um, uh, art school works, and uh, after graduation many works in between. Uh, till now, till the most recent statues you would see later on the, you know, on the display. So yeah, it's like a, um, a capsule of uh, 50 years, I could say. My name is uh, Tino Johannes. Uh, I was born in Addis and left when I was a kid. Uh, lived in California and New York and uh, after 29 years I returned back to Ethiopia. And it's been 13 years since I've been back. And most importantly, I, I'm known by uh, Liban's father rather than my name. Even my friends have forgotten my name these days. Uh, the theme is my mother and her name, Leent. On the piece um, I was talking about, she signed her name, Leent Tafasar, and we even take her uh, handwriting and turn it uh, to a ticker font. So that's uh, the theme. My mother, then women uh, around my life, from uh, my wife to Rita Mali, uh, Salam, uh, Annana right here. Uh, so many women, Tigris from Capital. Um, it's uh, all about women, literally. And this month is March uh, as well, so it's Women Month, then we're celebrating my mother, and I didn't never expect I would exhibit with her. <laughs> and, and it means so my work's displayed with her. Uh, there is other pieces as well there. Uh, she did uh, in a mixed medium then. Anyways, yeah, that's the theme, woman. Uh, that's pretty much it in summary. And I've been uh, since I've been back in Ethiopia. I've worked in a lot of around media, uh, arts and music, uh, and mainly now I'm focusing around the art section and the music section. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to be part of this group that we are here to interview for, uh, which is Lilt uh, exhibition by Marit Tafasa, Lil Marit Tafasa. I'm, I was very fortunate enough to be part of this group. Uh, who we've organized an, an amazing, an amazing collection of work. Uh, it's titled and After His Mum, uh, Lilt, and it's, it's, an, it's a commemoration of the work uh, that he's transformed through his life around, around that perspective. And it's one of the most amazing things to be able to showcase uh, your artwork with your mother. Uh, you know, it's nice to have her piece on the same exhibition as Murid and so I'm sure he must be feeling proud and, 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 I'm, and I'm very proud of him. The journey started, as I was saying earlier, um, from copying my mother's drawing. When she do, do it, she was uh, four months, uh, I was four months, I think. Then I did it when I was four years. Then it was my um, habit to draw on anything I found. It could be a vinyl uh, um, box that I split and draw on and copy still her work, because there was, used to be many of her works all over. And I know it's drawn by, by someone's hand, so I was trying to copy that, so that's where I started. And then I knew about art school. I decided to join art school after um, winter class when I was a kid, uh, grade nine, I mean teenager. Then I entered art school. The first exhibition was in Jerusalem. I didn't even plan to exhibit first out of it. Anyways, that happened, it, it was intended to be. And um, when I come back, my, um, what I decided is to do just charcoal, black and white. So those works, uh, some of them are displayed here from the first charcoal. Then I stay in charcoal for 10 years. I don't paint, then I start to paint. My first paintings are here too, some of them. Then till now, the recent statues and stuff like that. As you remember, uh, about a year ago in May, uh, last year, I did the art and jazz, uh, music, art, and doing something good with a, with a local NGO. 
to do something, something different, something changing, and having interdisciplinary interactions between different forms of artworks. Uh, so I, I got curious about that, and I've always been around music, and 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 art, and you know, at some point in my life, I decided, you know what, I keep running and chasing the money. Uh, why not stop all that and focus on something you love, and then if you give it a hundred percent, and over time it will, it, will, it will prevail. So this engagement is part of that continuation of my journey. And being part of this exhibition uh, has given me a, a wonderful experience. Uh, seeing it, seeing the work transform itself as it's being displayed for public viewing. So that is a, a transformative thing because I've seen these pieces in many at, at his place. Uh, 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 but when you put them together in different orders, they give you a different feeling. So they strike something. Maybe, maybe a painting you've skipped before, now you see it, you're like, oh! You know? So uh, it gives you that kind of conversation. So, uh, so this journey of mine uh, it will, it will keep going. I don't have a clear view yet where I want to go, where I want to land. I have a general idea of where I want to go. But I don't have a specific planned out agenda of how I should go about it. But, we, but there's many different things I'm doing. Uh, this, is, this kind of work is one. Uh, the last work that I've done, the art and jazz, is one. And then also locally on the ground, um, I'm identifying different places I like. And I curate music and ambiance and art and incorporate all that and, and bring in artisans and artists and food and, and mu music and drinks. Everybody having fun and enjoying life and enjoying the creative side of their, of their life. And, and I, I enjoy when I make that happen. So, uh, so I'm touching base in many different platforms uh, just to see who's who, what's what, who does great work. Who do, this is the way to filter things. You have to find the people, that, you know, building a team is the most important thing in this environment. If you don't have a team, you can run around and you'll have a mad, mad day, yeah? But when you have a good team, you know you don't have to worry about things that you've delegated. Uh, so uh, this, this, this work was, uh, this exhibition was made by a great team. Merid, obviously, the artist, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal character. He's a good friend, and he's like family to me. Uh, his wife, Dr. Dastam Magu, uh, she's, she's just awesome. You know, it's, it's nice working with people like that. It's nice to feel motivated. Uh, you know, all this work doesn't feel like it worked a day, because when you enjoy it, and you have a team that supports you, all that stress breaks down and goes away. So you focus on the work rather than on the redundant stuff. So that's the focus. So the journey will go forward. So who knows what we're going to do next. So I we'll, we'll hope you'll be partners with us and join us again and then showcase what we do and, and, and teach people that this is important also. And this hour is beautiful and Ethiopia as well. So we have so many historical places, for example. Uh, we can renovate them like uh, Gola. Uh, you see the process before and after picture. So we can renovate them and turn them to cultural space, not just for the fine arts, it can be for craft, like uh, Salam doing right now, trying to create a residence behind this building house and stuff like that, for other part of creative uh, people who could do the, the cultural uh, javana we use, or it could be a massive mas stuff here. So um, together we could um, uh, use our cultural heritage with fine art because we have a background of modern education in fine art, history and that otherwise. So when we combine that and um, let children come and see art when in their weekends and um, uh, encourage them to be an artist too because people tell you, oh, you're an artist, you will be like Van Gogh, you won't use a one piece and you'll, so you'll starve. And there is, of course, a challenge. there is a challenge. And when you're an artist, you have to be ready for a challenge. So, but we give them the inspiration first, give them spaces to admire art and be inspired. Like I, I, I get lucky and be inspired by my mom. So, yeah, so, so and so, and the curriculum as well, the schools has to teach art. Properly, like they do in other countries. 
uh, up to the secondary, then secondary can specialize in art while it's taking the other academic uh, lessons. So our curriculum needs to include that too. That will help us to grow culturally, spiritually, and even in science. When I studied anatomy and no anatomy, I know uh, mechanical uh, science, physics, balance, everything. So it's not just visual and uh, you know um, something you could appreciate. It's practical as well. You could create great architects, engineers, because it's part of drawing, isn't it? When it goes on. So yeah. So we just need to encourage art flourish, and we'll see the result in near future, like uh, His Majesty said when he opened art school. The first one by the door, the Haile Selassie is with a big cap. It could be anybody also, but it's also that's a majestic. Uh, image. Uh, there's another one in the other room. Uh, it's a sketch, almost robotic feeling like a sketch line, but colored ones. There's one lady like that, and unfortunately, somebody took that. My message one, we have to reconnect. I learned from this exhibition that I could, can, my mother passed me for a long time, but I reconnect with my royal family lineage through her. I, which means I can connect with my history, with my culture, with my uh, certain things being ignored and stuff like that too. I connect with uh, my woman's side, uh, my mother. So it's about reconnecting and using those assets for growth and uh, passing something the next generation can be proud of and be inspired as well. So yeah, let's keep uh, uh, encouraging our creativity would help us in every way. On this project, I would love to thank uh, Marit for being the great artist he is and a good friend that he is, uh, and for allowing me to participate in this, in this work. Uh, I would love to thank Dr. Dasta Magu. Uh, I have a lot to learn from her, and, uh, and I enjoyed working with her, and I, I appreciate and I'm very grateful that she's given me this opportunity. Sharon and Dawit Adno, uh, awesome people, uh, great teammates. Uh, Julia Mauser, uh, our dear sponsor who uh, helped us print the book. I can't say enough about her. She's, she's, yeah, she's, she's one. Uh, um, and Nabiyu, my friend, my buddy, who's my partner in this business, in this thing that we're doing, Nabiyu Kabada. Uh, without him, I would be a mess because he's more organized. I'm more creative. Uh, my message, uh, always figure out what you need. Always stay, trace true to your heart. Stay true to your heart. When you do that, it's painful. You may go broke for a little bit. Don't worry about it. But stick to it. Repetition and belief in what you do always resolves the problems. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Uh, there's one more person I would love to thank, which is Salam, the owner of this gallery. Uh, she's, well, open-hearted person. Uh, you know, people like that touch you. And they don't even know they touch you. And really, I really want to say thank you for providing this space and for maintaining this beautiful space, uh, space and upgrading it and, and putting it in the state from where it was to here. Wow, I'm so proud of her.